lost in this bubble of ours Imploding there's no time to talk As combustible as we are Like our voice was conceptualized so that students have an understanding of what's going around them, for them to be socially responsible, for them to know what's, what environmental issues they are facing and what other issues are linked to these environmental issues, which can be sociological, economic, political, it can be anything which, which they are going to face in their future. In 1954, I was a secondary school student here. And our swimming races sold in that time. Can you believe this? <laughs> that was in 54. And we had 30 varieties of fish. And the farmers who were irrigating this land never carried drinking water. We drank that water. What I noticed was that closer to the lake we had eagles and crows and all of them signified scavenger birds. So in a way it signified that the lake was kind of dead. Most of these crops are being supplied to uh, markets in KR and HL and I'm sure these vegetables reach our homes. Now these vegetables have been tested and they've showed high levels of lead and high levels of um, magnesium and this is really harmful for all of us. What they grow is like this kind of fonder and they feed this to the cattle which is which is kind of bad because what, what this grows is basically on the polluted water. So this kind of affects not only the animals and um, also us. <laughs> One of the places we visited is actually a aqua mountain mineral water plant and when we asked where the mountain was we pointed to a bow well. basically it's water water so really you know when you talk about uh, bangalore having a water crisis 10 years from now actually it's not 10 years from now it's here and now 20 years back in this village we had uh, water at 20 feet or underground level now it is below 1,200 feet, nobody can believe this, but we are victims and we are witnesses. Senior vegetables are very good. They 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 are very It was 500 years, you know, it's been uh, the settlement you know, started happening in Warsaw. Predominantly, we are fishermen and uh, the agriculturists, transformation of the Bangalore itself. Now we are uh, in a kind of, uh, kind of tremendous change. Agriculture wasn't doing good and uh, whatever we grow. Uh, as a farmer, uh, we had uh, several issues with the finances. So we had to diversify ourselves. My father asked me to get into the you know education so that you know I can be absorbed into any of the you know the, the jobs you know uh, available around. We are right now at a place where the Belandur Lake joins into the Vartur Lake. Vartur Lake is contaminated mostly by the Belandur Lake. So we just wanted to test what's the water quality entering here, and we, I will also like to test the water quality which is leaving out of Vartur there because plants normally act as a natural filter. Like they, they just remove all the most of the chemicals as, as, they, as the water flows around. Somewhere in India, education has not been applied. Right? We, we would study chemistry in the lab, we would study biology in the lab, but we don't know how to apply it in the lakes surrounding. Right? 
I'm sure in the next one year the kids will be able to come back and practically say whether the lake has improved or not by doing relevant experiments in the lake and uh, for both uh, you know physics chemistry and uh, biology right so so that appliedness comes becomes a possibility here i'm really excited because this is a nice opportunity to um, bring awareness of, um, among the children so because it's it's their world after all like we are living the world for them so so if they are aware then they will stop their pollution maybe the world will be a better place there's just so much of scope for uh, children who are as entitled as ours are, you know, who come from the kind of backgrounds that we come from, uh, to take everything for granted. But that, that really, unfortunately, that's no longer possible. You know, that there has to be a certain sense of responsibility for the world that we live in. I was born and brought up in this place. See, uh, it is uh, coming to that, it's a source, it's a nidus of infection. It is there. Okay, you can see it. So it's like that. You name it parasitic infections, bacterial infections, viral infections, everything is possible. The first step towards solving the water problems are reduce, so you have to reduce your consumption, uh, block all the leakages in houses, in the pipelines. Second thing to do is to do rainwater harvesting. So that is the second easiest step and the more effective step. Third is to reuse STP water for non-portable purposes. So for example, watering your plants, cleaning your cars, in your bathrooms and so on. The fourth step is using it as portable water. Strapped to our hearts, firearms by our side. Driving all fate, there's no time to wait. I'll be collecting my thoughts in a jar, holding it forever in a lie. Use my bones as a sword. Now take me away